Let's create a bullseye icon on PowerPoint. First open up your blank slide on your PowerPoint, then go to insert, go to shapes and pick this whole shape over here and just drag it like that. Done. Then go to shape outline, press no outline and go to shape fill and make this this color maybe. Done. Then what you can do is go to insert again, go to shapes again and pick this donut and drag it here just. Done. You don't have to be perfect but you can have the guidelines over here to make it perfect. Now I'm gonna have this yellow dot over here and just squeeze it a bit. Yep. And make it look like this and go to shape outline, no outline and make the shape fill white. Done. Then I'm gonna press Ctrl D to duplicate it and just minimize it a bit again and put it right in the middle. So you see where this is going, right? You just create one shape perfectly and then all the others fit perfectly. Alright, I've managed it. Now I'm gonna increase the size a bit. Yep, this should work just fine. Then I'm gonna get another oval shape. Just make it white and put it right in the middle. So this should work just fine. Alright, our main thing is ready. If you can't get it perfectly, maybe it's messed up like this, you can just drag over all this, go to align, align center, and then go to align, align middle. And all this is pixel perfectly aligned. Done. Then I'm going to create the arrow. Go to insert, go to shapes, and pick this triangle over here and drag it out a bit. Done. Then I'm going to press shape outline, no outline, and shape fill, make it this color. Done. And then go to insert again, here again, and you know, make this thing and press on these to make the same thing. Go to insert again, go to shape again, and you'll have this Chevrolet icon over here and just drag it like that and just rotate it a bit and put it right over here so that it serves the arrow and duplicate it maybe two more times to make this like arrow and just click on these two icons to make them black again. And maybe I'll just drag over all this and merge them together and then what I'm going to do is just rotate it a bit yep, and minimize it a bit and put it right over here and you can use the icon for bullseye or sales target or whatever they wish you want and that's how you create bullseye thing on PowerPoint. Thanks for watching. For more of these videos don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel.